This edition of One Play Wednesday is going to look at Josie Jules' two interception day against the Chiefs in Week 14. Of course, the Chiefs I think jumped out to a 28 nothing lead. Uh, tried to allow maybe it was 21 nothing. Tried to allow Bronc actually did allow the Broncos back in the game. Multiple interceptions. Uh, Jerry Judy had a pretty big day. Three touchdowns. Fourth touchdown on a screen pass to Mac. And Josie Jewell had two interceptions. Talking about a guy who missed most of 2021. Had 100 plus tackles in 2020. Now has returned to form. Look, he's got two and a half sacks. He's got, I think, now three interceptions, two forced fumbles, thick interception over the middle. We're going to show you a couple of angle of views of this. There's Jewel, left inside linebacker, played his whole career with the Broncos on track for over 100 tackles. I think he's at 96 now. Haven't really started breaking it down here, just showing you the play so we can talk about it. You can see Mahomes initially is looking over here. You've got you've got one receiver off screen to the right there, and then obviously Kelsey there. So he could be trying to read the coverage over to the boundary side and see what's happening. It certainly looks like you got a guy getting locked up man there. Kelsey looks free. Nope. Jewel picks it. All right, let's go back to all 22 and start to really break it down. <clears throat> you got a 425 nickel by the Broncos. Looks like 11 personnel, a uh, twin slot for the uh, for the Broncos or for the, for the Chiefs, excuse me. So the twins is to the top side. That's the two receivers. The slot is to the bottom side. Kelsey is in the slot. And then you have an X receiver down to the bottom. Let's check out the routes. Broncos playing this uh, unique version of cover two, if you ask me, where the linebackers running out into the flats. Predetermined. Certain getting hands on. Here, so you've got, you know, what looks like three Broncos defenders at the second level, maybe four or five. So maybe it's a, a combo coverage on the back side because you have the running back, you know, uh, releasing out into the flats. But Singleton, the linebacker, is going pre-snap. So from that standpoint for Mahomes, he saw someone get cleared out of there. He saw a second level defender, 49, get cleared out of there. And once Jewel moves this direction a little bit, I think Mahomes thinks he's got him, and Jewel's just way more athletic than Mahomes thinks. Sick play. Sick catch. I'm not absolving Mahomes of blame. I'm just saying that I think once Singleton removes himself from the box pre-snap, you can see it happens before the snap. I think Mahomes notices it, thinks he's got an opening there along the hash or in between the hashes, especially once Jewel moves over just – underestimated or how athletic Jewel actually is. Going to come back to the All-22 here in a moment. So I'm talking about this linebacker here, pre-snap. Moving out into the flats. The way the routes were distributed, it ends up looking a little bit like a cover two, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's exactly a cover two, to be honest with you. The Broncos play a lot of split field coverages where they're making calls independent. Um, one side is independent of the other side. Beautiful catch. Let's go back here and look at the top side. So you got two receivers to the top side being recovered by being covered up initially by three defenders. It looks like Simmons looks like Simmons is going to try to cover up this by Kelsey. And this safety is definitely in the middle of the field, so I would not call that a cover two on a, on a closer look to me. If Simmons is supposed to match him, though, he is really slow on that release. Luckily for them, I and mean, this could be man-free, to be honest with you. It could just be man-free, man-free here, man here, man there, man there, off man generally, obviously. And Simmons is just leaving too much space there for Kelsey, but Jewel was covering it up. Yeah, I'd say this is man-free with a low hole dropper. A middle of the field free safety and five guys manned up on the five eligible receivers. And Jewel just does a fantastic job. This is one of the reasons why you don't, you know, get your inside linebackers as a defensive coordinator, you don't get your inside linebackers out of position all the time by, you know, walking them up here and then expecting them to run back. Let them get, let them line up in the area that they're going to actually defend. Novel concept. Four man rush. Mahomes has way more time than he thinks. Or he, let's put it this way, he could have held onto the ball longer and let that route by Kelsey possibly develop over the top of Jewel. Sick interception, underrated guy. Uh, happened, happened to have some awareness of him just because the Ravens played 
the Broncos two weeks ago, and Jewel and Singleton both had 17 tackles, 17 tackles each in the game, which was quite incredible. If this is your first time watching my channel or you're unfamiliar with One Play Wednesday, it's where I just try to take a look at various plays across the NFL with, with really not having – I looked at them previously. That's why early in the video, you know, I said this looks like it could be a cover two with the linebacker running out in the flats. And then on second or maybe even third look, I recognized finally that it was man free. Let me know what you think of my breakdown here. The miss, If there's any missing elements that I have. I think that this was Mahomes' second interception of the game. I know Jewel had another one. And, w and they basically let the Broncos hang around in a game where they, they surged out to a 21 or 28 nothing lead. Uh, one Play Wednesday is just an initiative where I try to like take a look at one play from various games across the NFL. If you have another play you'd like me to take a look at, I try to do it absent watching the play multiple times beforehand. So you're just listening to me kind of break it down for the first time. Appreciate you guys' time. If you enjoy the video, let me know in the comments section and consider sharing a link on social media to help the, this video get more reach.